Hello, beloved technicals here. Kind of a nothing burger video, uh, a whole video created around one tweet. But what a tweet it is. Ice River coming out with the tease. They teased a few days ago uh, some new sort of upgraded uh, pro version of like the uh, the R, you know, AL0, the RX0, KS0, things like that of Home Miner. And it appears to be here. The KS2 Lite, 2 terahash at 500 watts for $500. And the AL2 Lite, Two terahash at 500 watts, $1,299. Silent, low power, cost effective. The best choice for home miners. So obviously if we're gonna compare apples to kumquats here, the KS2 Lite as compared to the Ice River KS2, uh, getting the same sort, the same hash rate, but uh, less than half the total power consumption because the Ice River KS2 coming in, two terahash at 1,200 watts, the KS2 Lite 500 watts, so significant efficiency increase. And in comparing with the other iServer products, the uh, their AL3 versus this new AL2 Lite, uh, AL3 coming in at 233 watts per terahash, AL2 Lite, 250 watts per terahash, so a little more power hungry, not as efficient as an AL3, but at a price of $1,300 versus an $11,000 miner, you're still in that same efficiency range. The Bitmain AL1 is still beating everybody at 225 watts per terahash, but at a at a price tag of, of still, well, according to Crypto Miner Bros, uh, for this is spot price. Uh, well, actually, it says delivery batch. I'm not sure which batch, but whatever. Crypto Miner Bros price, which is the price I'm going to take right now, is $30,600. So you can be kind of playing around in the realm of the same efficiencies with this new AL2 Lite uh, at $1,300. Bucks. Very attractive, very, very attractive. I'd love to know what you're thinking what in the, in the comments below, because... At 1300 bucks, I mean, if you're playing around with ASICs, that's not a lot for an ASIC. Um, but everybody, I feel like, is once bitten, twice shy, or nine times bitten, 50, 1,500 times shy uh, with ASICs right now because it's like, I mean, how long ago was it that AL3 came out? I don't know. Not long ago, okay? These ASIC wars, out of control, man. It's just back and forth. It's like every single week, there there's this one upsmanship. And I think a lot of people are just kind of just pumping the brakes on this and like waiting for the dust to settle and find out what it's going to be but as we all know you can't do that you can't wait for the dust to settle as it, when it comes to devices like this because they're you know uh, uh, you could miss out on those profits you could miss out on the bull run whatever so i'd really be interested to know uh what you're thinking in the comments below uh because at that price i mean if you think a lithium's going to do things 1300 bucks man Yeesh, AL0 just came out. It just came out, man. 400 giga hash uh, for, I mean, I guess it's like $600 miner now. So for twice the price, uh, you're getting, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a better deal all around. And I mean, Ice River, you're kind of cutting your own throat at that point, um, especially on that AL2, because I mean, how many, how many of those ALOs do you have in the warehouse? You know, you got a lot of those, I mean, Anyone who's considering buying a $600 miner, they probably got the scratch to afford a $1,300 miner. And, you know, where do they go from there? So very interesting to say the least uh, how these ASIC wars are playing out. But it seems like usually in a, in a real economy, uh, when, you know, manufacturers, merchants are fighting back and forth uh, with pricing and efficiency wars, usually the customer benefits but i don't really see the customer benefiting here it's just the customer deciding uh to get a miner and getting fucked in the process uh because a better one's going to come out and so where is it going to end i don't know love to know what you think in the comments below be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this i'm the technicals see you next time